Hey guys, it's May May, and you can see by the thumbnail that today we're making a rosette ornament or an accordion ornament. And this was suggested to me on Facebook and several people asked that I go ahead and do a tutorial on it. So what I've done is I've headed to the pin that was shared on Facebook and I'm following that person's instructions exactly. So I'm gonna link that below for you guys. There's a couple of things I'm adding to it to make it easier because I don't think those um, instructions included that. So I'm gonna kind of doll it up a little bit, but let's get started. All right, the first thing you're gonna need are four strips of paper that are eight inches long, one and a quarter tall. You'll need two pieces that are one inch long and 12 inches, no, I said that backwards, 12 inches long and one inch high. And then you're gonna need two pieces that are one and a half inch tall by 10 inches long, okay? But don't worry, all that's gonna be in the um, pen so you can get those measurements that way. Now the first thing we need to do is combine some of these strips together to make longer strips of paper. Your two 12 inch pieces, they stay just like they are, so I'm just gonna move them out of our way. These pieces and these pieces need to be combined together. Um, we're gonna make a piece that is a 20 inch long piece by adding this one, and it won't quite be 20 inches, even though on the pen it says we're gonna turn it into 20 inches. We still gotta adhere this together and overlap it slightly. So it won't be exactly 20 inches, but we'll get pretty close. So we're gonna combine this one, and I'm gonna use sticky tape. Which one do I wanna use? Let's use this guy. He's a quarter of an inch. So see, I know I'm gonna overlap this one quarter of an inch to attach them. You could probably just use like a wet glue and attach them. That would probably be fine too. If you use a wet glue, you might not overlap as much as I am so. But I'm just gonna overlap a quarter of an inch and go with it. So what you'll do here is just lay this guy on top, covering up that adhesive. And now we've extended our strip out so we can get the accordion the size we need it. And I know that's not gonna show in the screen, but that's what we've done. Now for our eight inch strips, we're gonna adhere them together as well, and we're gonna make two 16 inch strips, sort of. Remember, we're, mark we're taking off a quarter of an inch with our adhesive. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put some on the bottom of this one, and stick these guys together. Now, while I'm doing this, I wanna say this to you. In the pen, she didn't use double-sided paper, so that was kind of the first thing I saw that I wanted to change or to tweak because I think the double-sided paper is really pretty because when the ornament hangs on the tree, let's say you hang it up high on your tree, then if you don't have the double-sided paper, you're just gonna see white underneath. And I don't wanna see just white, I wanna see some pretty paper. So I'm gonna use double-sided paper. This paper is actually from a Graphic 45. Um, paper line. It's Twas the Night Before Christmas from last year. So that's where I got these papers from. All right, so all of our extending is done at this point. Now it's time to start scoring. Now her pen did not tell me where to score. It didn't give me a dimension for that. So I just kind of looked at her picture and I'm just guessing on this, okay? So here's what I've come up with. I'm going to score every half of an inch. So I'm just going to start here and every half of an inch I'm going to score. In her pen, she just says accordion fold. So if you don't have a scoreboard, you could obviously just accordion this. But for me, the scoreboard is one of those items in my craft room that I really, really use all the time and I love having. So I call it an essential. But I will tell you this, you can always take a bone folder and a ruler and just use that to score. Now I'm gonna flip this guy around. And because I wanna score every half inch, I'm gonna find my last one, okay? And I'm gonna move down a half an inch from it so I can keep my folds in the right place. It's not gonna line up exactly on the half, but once you see where it is, you'll know where to score. Just go a half inch away from each one. Okay, so I didn't get a perfect half inch here, but that's not a problem. We've got to close this guy up in a circle, so we'll just use that as our adhesive tab. So go ahead with all the rest of your strips and score them at half an inch. So I've got everything ready to accordion. Now I've cut out five little round circles or one and a quarter inch punch circles. You don't have to use circles and it doesn't matter what color they are because they're not gonna show. 
I use these to adhere my rosettes down. This makes things easier for me. And this was not mentioned in the pen, so I'm adding this. Now, what she did was she just closed it down and put some glue in the middle, and that worked for her. But for me, I like to have something to kind of catch the glue. This will make more sense in a minute, but I want to go ahead and have those ready. I also have my glue gun heated up over to the side so that once I get these guys all accordion and ready to put together, I am ready to move on. So now we just accordion on all those little score marks we made. This is the easy part. I just do this like this with my fingers. I just let um, put the paper in my hand, let the, my fingers do the work, and then I just squish them good like that. All right, so there's one accordion. I'm gonna keep going. So everything is now folded and ready to be adhered. And now I like to use the hot glue to adhere them because I think I can hold it and let it cool quicker and then hold it into place faster. But if you have a wet glue that works really good or if you wanna use sticky tape, go ahead and do that too. So I'm gonna use hot glue to adhere these together because I can hold it in my hand and let it cool off really quick while I'm holding it. So what you do is you just put a little hot glue and then put your two end pieces together like so, you see that? And I'm just gonna squish these and hold them until it cools. So there's one, and what you're doing is just creating little circles because we'll make them into the actual rosette, rosettes in just a few minutes. So you just take those end pieces and glue them together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do this with all of my accordion pieces and then we'll be ready to turn them into rosettes. So I've got all of my um, circles or my accordions glued into circles. Now I wanna show you the next part and this part goes pretty quick. I'm gonna put this little circle down on my table and I'm gonna do a dry run first to show you, okay? This goes kinda quick. You're gonna push everything together and then push down. And when you do that, it flattens out into the accordion shape that you want, you see that? And this is where that little circle piece comes in so handy because I'm gonna have glue on it before I ever get to this point so that it will stick down as soon as I get it there. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna go ahead and put my hot glue on this circle probably way more than I need. I wanna make sure that wherever my rosette lands, the hot glue lands too, or the um, hot glue is there. Now I'm just going to press this down onto that circle and that will hold my rosette in place. I found that's the easiest way to do this instead of trying to fight and hold them all together. Then I come back to that center and I fill that up with the hot glue so that all of those little pieces are now adhered together and when that hot, the hot glue cools and dries, we will be in business. So I'm just gonna sit that one aside and let it cool. Now we'll do the next one. And I do them the exact same way every time. I do a little dry run to get this little guy laying like he's supposed to. And with these smaller ones, it's gonna be a little more difficult, okay? So here's my dry run <laughs> to get him going. Then I'm gonna put glue on my circle. Yeah, the smaller they are, the harder they are to um, accordion. So, I'm just gonna put this over my circle and flatten it down into it. There we go. You just have to kind of work with these little ones a little more. Then I'm gonna fill up that middle piece with hot glue. Then I'm gonna press this in to seal it down and hold it for a second and let it start to dry. Okay, so now that we've got all of our rosettes ready to go, it's time to assemble them. So I'm gonna take the largest one and I'm gonna add hot glue to the middle because now we're gonna get the shape of a circle. Now this is following her instructions of how she did hers and you can see pictures of hers on her blog and she has a picture tutorial too, so you can follow that. So I put the second largest one on top. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. And then I'm gonna take the tiniest one and it goes on top of that. So a little more hot glue here. And then stick this little guy on, just like so. And the reason these guys stair step is to kind of give you the, the shape of a circle. So at this point we're building the bottom or the top of the circle. And now I'm gonna flip it over and we're just gonna do the opposite. Now we're gonna flip this guy over and put it on top. So a little more hot glue, just like so. Put that one in the center. So the biggest one's in the middle, and then we do smaller, smaller on top and bottom. Now for this one, because I have this yellow circle here, I'm gonna glue it down this way so that you don't see the yellow circle. So I'm gonna put the glue on the circle, 
and adhere it to the other circle. So that hides both of those. This is the bottom of the ornament, by the way. Okay, so now our ornament is all glued together. So see, we have this little circle shape, but we need something to hang it on the tree with. So let me do that. So now we've got the ornament all put together and we need to make the piece to hold it together. So what we're gonna do is take a piece of ribbon and I'm making a loop at the top and I'm just gonna tie a knot to give myself a little loop to hold the ornament, okay? And I don't like a really long loop because I like it to hang pretty close to my tree. So I'm not gonna make that super long, just about like that. Then I'm just gonna cut this off at the knot because I'm gonna use the knot to adhere it down. And while we're here, I'm gonna tie a bow using the same ribbon, because I think this is cute ribbon, and I think it goes well with that paper pad. Now I'm just leaving this um, ribbon attached to my spool, and that way I can just trim off what I need when I get done to the, or get to that point, and then just tie this dude. And just play with it till you get the size that you're looking for. Something like that. Trim this guy away, and those are ready for our ornament. Now that we've got these ready, we're ready to put them on the top of our ornament, and I'm going to start with the knot or the loop. So I'm putting a blob of glue there, and I'm just going to take that knot, and I'm going to stand it up in that hot glue, and hold it there until the glue cools enough to hold the knot in place. Now I'm going to take the bow, and I'm going to stick it into that hot glue too, just right to the side. It's still, a, it's still hot enough to grab the bow also. So I've got my loop and my bow. Isn't that cute as it can be? And this ornament is ready to go on your tree. Hey, thanks so much for pinning, or, um, putting this on Facebook for me to see the pin. I really enjoyed recreating it. I hope you guys will recreate it and show me what you do over on our Facebook group, which is May May Made It, and so did I. If you have something you'd like to see me try or um, test out, be sure to let me know about that, either on Pinterest or on Facebook. Let me see the pins, and I'll be more than happy to try them out. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If by chance you are a Periscope user, please join us today on Periscope. I will be making Christmas cards using this paper pack, which is sent to me by Edith at Scrapbooking by Me Boutique. And I think this is super cute. It's called Have a Merry Christmas by Cartabella. And we're gonna make as many Christmas cards out of this pack as we can. So if you are a Periscope user, that'll be at 2 p.m. Central Time today, which is the 11th of November. And one more thing, we have a contest starting over on our Facebook group today, May May Made It and So Did I, and that contest is for winter themed projects. It's called Snow Crafty. So head on over to that one and you might want to get involved in that as well. Talk to you soon guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.